Congress Dan Windsor, and I want to address the uh, Hannah Graham and the Morgan Harrington and Alexis Murphy right at the moment because they've got uh, Jesse Leroy, and it's a point in what I'm making, uh, like in, anyway, uh, his last name is Matthews. He's at uh, Fairfax, Virginia, and he's being held um, for raping, and I've forgotten, uh, a young lady there in 2005, and this is Fairfax County outside uh, D.C., She's being, she's living in India. Whether she's from there, I don't know. But she's coming back um, and giving testimony there. And then I guess he's going to um, be come back to the uh, Charlottesville, Roanoke, well, Charlottesville area and stand trial for Alexis, Mer I mean, excuse me, for uh, Hannah Graham and Morgan Harrington uh, murders. The point I wanted to make, the Morgan Harrington here, I wrote about mind control murders, and I put it on YouTube, a whole bunch of them, the day that Alexis Murphy was uh, abducted and I suppose killed. But it's the patterns they get fit into these murders. I've been telling about it since um, Larry Flint was shot, before he was shot, actually. Lawrenceville, Georgia, I was doing a medical malpractice book in Atlanta, Marietta, that's where I was living, uh, in uh, Moonraker Apartments. The name of the book was MD a License to Kill. And uh, it was about Larry McDonald, U.S. Congressman, doctor. And uh, I was talking about murders at the hospital there um, that he worked for, Piedmont Hospital, uh, and I had links to Emory and to the Univer uh, Center for Disease Control. Now then, this is Morgan Harrington's mother. This is her. And uh, she was murdered in, uh, well, it was 09, uh, I think about November, and they found her body later in early spring. Her father's a psychiatrist here, and she was a student at uh, Virginia Tech next door to me in Blacksburg. She was abducted uh, after she left a um, Metallica concert at Charlottesville, University of Virginia, on the other side of me. This is uh, Fort Hood. Uh, he's a psychiatrist. He's a shooter. I guess he's on death row. He's been found guilty. Uh, he was born Roanoke Benton here, I said, and he finished school at Virginia Tech. He's a psychiatrist. Now then, this is... Uh, I was told, and this is true, I'm just repeating it since they've made my word no good. Uh, I went to um, the FBI, after I did the letter, I got a letter from them June 23rd of 79. And I had uh, antifreeze put in me April the 1st of um, 80 and should have died, gone to come and died. It's been that kind of hell ongoing every day. The FBI said they were stacking them. And by that they meant laws that were um, being broken against me. I've been tortured. I don't know where my sons are. But I want to get to this. This boils down. I'm going to have to sit down in a minute. They've got me in such bad health. Um, you won't see all of this. It's where I went. I was living in the National Forest being run and soaked in chemicals. This was, um, I went up there, got a run up cab. This is where he signed it, and I paid $250 to go to D.C., uh, Fairfax. I went to um, 9700 Lee Highway, the Econo Lodge, and um, this is the man who brought me back, cab driver, on the date, 6:15. I went up there 6:13, and this is uh, Murphy, and this is where are you getting part of the Alexis Murphy? Murphy's Law, anything that can go wrong will. And I can go on from there. Um, like um, one of the mind control murders was Eric Rudolph and the bombing in the Alabama abortion court, um, uh, uh, abortion clinic, and in Atlanta, the Piedmont Park, uh, Olympic Park murders. He's uh, part of the 
mind control using the Murphy. And, uh, well, they found him in Murphy, Murphy, North Carolina. And the detective or policeman's name was Scott, and that's a point that needs to be addressed. These are patterns that these type of murders are done in. And to save the next girl that they have going, uh, the only way you're going to save it, these aren't gender-related. Uh, these uh, are, are uh, connected by patterns. It has nothing to do with gender. Now, uh, I showed you that. And uh, just before I went to the motel, the um, cab driver from Roanoke took me to the Anchorage motel. It's just... Um, three blocks, I guess, away, and it's still on Lee Highway, uh, just like the Econo Lodge. And we stopped by there, and it, it was kind of odd because I thought, and this is uh, Fairfax, I, I thought, my God, this is where I uh, spent my class trip in 1957. I was kidnapped and taken to Moulton, Alabama, and given the name of a twin. Both twins were dead, and um, I grew up using, having to use the name of Peggy Ann Dempsey, a married of Childers. Found out that I was kidnapped from Buckingham Palace in 41. This is my father, the real King Edward VIII. He was illegally forced out. He was married to my mom, the sister to artist uh, George O'Keefe. My mom was Claudia Ruth. So the whole thing about him marrying uh, Wallace Warfield Simpson is a lie. I don't see her. Well, I got it right in my hand. This is a, an imposter, a double. I'm going to run out of tape, so I'm going to video here. My point in doing this, this is a man that helped do, kidnap him, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, Bilderbergers, Kennedy was ambassador. And this is my Uncle George, Roosevelt, 39, 41, they helped kidnap me, the New World Order, the Illuminati. This, she's using my money, traitor to Great Britain. These are some of the mind control murders here. This is the Hasems that was uh, next door in Bedford. He's a German diplomat son, and she's Canadian. They went to school at Virginia University of Virginia. This is my sons, Mark and Scott. I don't know where they are. Heir to the crown. And this is Mark Kelly and Scott Kelly in uh, the Tucson, Arizona. They're NASA astronauts. Gabby Gifford, the mass shootings. That's my control. Now if I can get back to it, my uh, illness has been used against me. I'm allergic to chemicals. And when they can control, I'm talking about the law enforcement, my whereabouts and force feed it, it makes my immune system attack itself and I'm in bad shape, lungs, kidney, everything. I've had to go on prednisone at times and now then it's just really bad. So I'm walking around in here because um, Nichols is being held in, uh, they're taking him to Fairfax for uh, assault, uh, rape charge against a person who I now find out is living in India. I don't know if she's from there or not. But this is where I had the connection is India there, and they're going to cover this up. This is mind control murder, the patterns. This is Sonny Shaw, the Patels. And look how that they're referred to, and these people wouldn't give me the time of day. I've been, they've become quite wealthy. In fact, I'm living in one of their places now. It's a cheaper one. Uh, it's in Troutville, Virginia, in, just off the interstate here in Delville. And in Roanoke, they have bought out everything. It's the property that's so uh, worth the money. But they own so much. But I'm going to show you who uh, came to that, Bob Goodlatte, an opening or Cynthia uh, representative. You got John Edwards, the state senator, and uh, you got uh, Mark Warner, congressman, just won re election. I thought those people were halfway nice, but I'm going to say this because they're killing me. I, I'm running from place to place, and when it's too much, I crawl to another one. I'm soaked in chemicals and I'm so sick. But uh, one of the, this is a family that's bought all these out, and they become so wealthy. And um, one of them named Patel back in 95 took all my money. I paid rent for a month, come in and started um, painting and all that. And I called the cops, and the cops told me I'd have to leave. 
I left without my money. 